Having fun, John. I'm having fun. All right. So now we both got shades on, yeah. right? All right. So before we got on on the podcast, what were we saying about young women? About, dating young about women. About dating young women? Yeah. Uh, it's a nightmare. <laughs> it's kind of like being with a toddler. You know, they throw temper tantrums. They uh, they feel like they needed to be treated like princesses. Yeah, it's it's not fun at all. What happened that made you like have that opinion? Oh, I thought that. Well, I see. Listen, I, I met a girl on a Wednesday, and apparently, um, she had just turned twenty-one that Monday. <laughs> you know, and I, yeah, I. So I, I just decided I wanted to dip my toe in the pool. You know, she's twenty-one. You know, what I mean, like, I mean, in my mind, she's like, yeah, she's an adult, but. Yeah, women, I don't know, just it's not, it never really works out the way you think it's going to work out, you know? Okay, so she's 21? Yes. Okay, now how how old are you at the time? I'm 35. Okay. Yeah. And what made it not work? Uh, You're dealing with a child at the end of the day, you know? Somebody who doesn't really understand the world and, you know, just figured out how to wipe their own ass, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> now, you were telling me before when we were off air. Mm-hmm. What was the shit that you fucked a girl and wiped your... Oh, man. <laughs> you got to tell me. Come on. Fuck it. I'll tell you the story, dude. So 10th grade... No, I'm not going to say that. It was 9th grade. I was a freshman. And I was messing with this girl. And she was real ugly. And she was like the tall, geeky girl in school that nobody wanted to fuck with. But I found out one summer she was a freak. You know what I'm saying? Just by chance, she was somewhere, and I was there, and, like, so we did some stuff, and I was like, wow, dude, this chick fucking, you know. But, like, she, yeah, she was total geek. She was, like, real tall. She was in band. She was in the band. Um, and I fucked her in the band room one day in between classes, and I fucked her in the ass, and, like, I pulled my dick out, and I got shit on my dick, and I, like, I wiped it on the back of her shirt, and she walked around all day uh, that day in school with shit on the back of her shirt. And then, like, everybody knew because I kind of told somebody, and then they told one person, and then, it, like, they told another person. Yeah, it was it was pretty embarrassing. It was, like, her. one thing after another yeah. after that? Yeah. Yeah, so I got I got clowned for a long time after that for, like, the rest of my remainder at that high school. <laughs> I got clowned like a motherfucker. Yeah, they forgot. They, like, she, like, they forgot about her. They they just were on me. You know what I'm saying? Now, are you 4 foot 11 at this time? Uh, ninth grade, I was four foot eleven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so she was like five nine, five ten, or something like that. So now you just put shit on a girl's back that's five nine and you're four eleven. I did, yeah. Not good. No, that's embarrassing for yeah. her. <laughs> and then essentially for me as well because yeah, I got clowned. Right. So as I've always told you a million times, you're like an, an extremely intelligent guy. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, you're, you're gonna do big things. Sure, you, know, you will. You will. You got to listen to the right people, yeah. which you will eventually. But, you know, you're hard-headed like everybody else. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And that, but, you know, you have to see through things, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but into a different lane. Um, and we've always wanted to talk about this together, but, you know, mm -hmm. we just didn't have the time. So the biggest thing i wanted to ask you because of the in intelligence that you have mm -hmm. and and the probably the iq i would say probably 150 oh i don't know i've never taken an iq test no mm -mm. i would say 150 one, 160 maybe nah maybe. no way dude you give me way too much credit well well Listen, it, i'm it, just good at regurgitating things that i hear and I have a good memory, so I'm I'm able to memorize like big words and stuff. But really, listen, I'm not honestly, I'm not that smart. Okay, but I, <laughs> I'm being but, honest. But but IQ isn't about what you remember and shit like that. Mm -hmm. It IQ is about like how open minded your brain is, mm -hmm. you know, because an average person only uses eighteen to twenty percent of their brain. So if you're using say twenty five percent, you see things a different way that somebody else may not. Right. Right. So now, like, you know, if you go by stats, your IQ is a little bit different. Mm. So how do you think that the pyramids developed? The ones in Egypt or the ones in Mexico? Mexico. 
sure. Let's right, start with Egypt because I don't know anything about Mexico. Well, there's pyramids all over the world. I right, start with Egypt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, sure. The Egypt, uh, the pyramids in the in Giza, uh, the Great Pyramids of Giza in Egypt. Uh, well, I mean, you know, there's dead, very many different theories about how they were built. You know, some people say they were built over a course of uh, 20 years uh, by slaves. Uh, I mean, that's what the historians say. Uh, from what I understand, I may be even wrong about that. And then, you know, of course, there's the ancient alien theory. And then, you know, there's, I mean, if you break it down and, you know, a lot of people make a lot of good points. I mean, some of those blocks were, you know, 200 tons. They were the size of school buses, you know. So I mean, and then I I, I think I read something else somewhere, and and where where somebody else made a, a really good point. They said that in order to cut, transport, and put into place each one of those blocks, uh, and to do it in the time that the historians say it was done, they would have had to have cut, move, and put one block into place every like th- thirty minutes or something like that, every thirty five minutes, because there's just so many. In the in the pyramids, so I mean I don't know. It's it's just one of those things where you just have to you kind of use your imagination because there's really no proof. I mean, listen, the pyramid. This is how this is how old the pyramids are, and I don't know even know if the, if I'm right about this. You know, so you might want to fact check me. But from what I from my understanding and from from like what I read, that the pyramid. Like so, you know how like the Roman Empire. You know how old the Roman Empire is to us. It's like ancient, right? Well, the pyramids were just as old to the Romans as the Romans are to us. That's how fucking old the pyramids are. And they're still there. And they're yeah, well, yeah, they're still there. But it's like, so you, I mean, when so that's what a lot of people don't realize how old the the actual the pyramids are. I mean, you got to think about that. I mean, like the Romans were what two thousand years ago, a thousand like what eighteen hundred BC or some shit. I think fifteen hundred BC, I, I, like like you said, I, I could be wrong, but I think it's about six thousand, or it's a it's a long, long time. Long, let's long, let's long not time. start. Let's not make ourselves look stupid. <clears throat> yeah, we're you already starting I mean? to look dumb. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it, like I said, in the in the pyramids are just as ancient to them as 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 they are to us. So that puts it on a scale that you know of time. That history just gets lost, brother. You know what right. I mean? Like co- empires get conquered, and especially when there's no technology like there is now. I mean, you know, I mean, what are you gonna do? It's lost. So like I said, you just gotta kind of use your imagination. Well, well, sir. So here, the the, here's the my thought. Right, not that I know, but here's my thought with mm-hmm. the pyramids. Right, so there's no way possible that if they didn't have some type of insane civilization at that time, that that would be done. Because I don't, I don't, I, I mean, I've talked to other people. Oh, yeah, it could be yeah. done now. I don't think so. Yeah. I think even in today, you couldn't build that. And not, you could build it, but would it last this long? I would like to see somebody try to build uh, the pyramids today by hand. By, 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 let all the historians lay out all the tools and by all the means that they said it was done originally with. And let's see, let's do like some massive project where we see if we can do it today and recreate it. Well, you would have and to if have we a can, massive if we can, lift to if bring we, that fucking thing up one by one by one. Well, they did it, they did it with ramps. They built ramps of, out of, out of like mud or right. whatever. No way. I know, I, I've, I've watched all the history, his, history documentaries yeah. about it and. I shouldn't I mean, say no way. And. My opinion, no way. But it's like maybe it just happened on a, on a on a different time scale than you know. Maybe it took them fifty years, or maybe it took them five dynasties. Maybe it was something that was achieved over a lifetime of one person, or something like that. You know what I mean? Because I mean, think about what they had. What we don't, they had time. We don't. We we just are our, 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 the way our society functions now. We don't have time to to complete projects like that on a grand scale. Everything we do now is fast. You know, I mean, so think about one pharaoh, or or even his his son carrying out his dad's work, and then him getting killed, and then his son carrying it out for like maybe like three generations, and then how that's how they built the pyramids. So this is my opinion, not, and I don't know any more than you. You know, I think that there was a fully civilization. Mm-hmm. I think that like technology and everything, or everything, hmm. everything. You know, this is like before the ice age, and you know, the comets hit and everything else. I think that there was a whole world that is like now, but maybe even better. And they had the tools and the machines, mm-hmm. maybe even better machines, right? To to build this, probably better, you know. 
Yeah, I don't. Probably built by hand, mm-hmm. actually. And they built these monumental things. Um, and that's why I think they're still here. I don't think aliens came down and built them. No, but I, I we can get to aliens in a little bit. But <laughs> I think that the pyramids were built by a civilization similar to what you see today every day. Mm. But probably more advanced. But I think what happened was, <clears throat> I think that um, I think that evolution didn't happen fast enough, and that's what caused the ice age and mm. all this other shit, which we'll get to. Yeah, but that's my opinion. You don't think so? No, I don't think so. I don't know if I necessarily subscribe to that. I I don't know. I don't think I don't really think there's any evidence of that. I think that. Um, I think I. Well, then you tell me how the fuck are these things still there? <clears throat> they were made to last. You can't make them back then. <laughs> you cannot, John. You re- listen. You, the you logi- re- you re- you re- listen re- to the, have a house. The logistics. How of are it, you going to tell me that the this thing's lasting this long? The logistics of it uh, are pretty mind-boggling. You know, but I mean the 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 stone that it was that the, it was built out of that it was made out of it. It's made to last forever. And even now it's weathered. I mean, you know, from what they say the pyramids used to look like and what they look like now is it's, it's they're just a weathered down, withered down, like, nub. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you if you look at, like, the grand, like, you know, designs and the, the all the artists' renditions of what they say and the historians say that, you know, the pyramids used to look like, I mean, you know. So, in other words, our, civil, our civilization came in and, like, weathered them to deal well, with time. this shit. Time weathered them, you know. I mean, listen. I don't know. I, like I, I, like I said, I wish we had somebody here fact checking and looking this shit up, dude. But, t- dude, you know the pyramids are fucking old, brother. They're they're the the oldest standing monuments on the planet. You know, besides like uh, Quebecia Tepe and Puma Pumku and fucking what is in Mexico. Those are two um, sites in Mexico where there's just ancient ruins that I think predate the, either predate or circumdate the. Pyramids of Giza. So there's pyramids in Mexico? There are, yeah. I, I don't know. Sure, yeah. Can you tell me about them? Uh, I really can't tell you much. I just, I know they exist. I mean, they don't, they're not, they don't look like the ones in, uh, in, <clears throat> in uh, Africa, but, you know, they do, they do, they have pyramids. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, there was a lot of pyramids. I think they, they found pyramids all over the world. There's one on every continent that people, really? people were building in pyramids. Yeah. So why do you think they built pyramids? I don't know. I so mean, if there's you, a lot of different there's a lot of different theories. I mean, uh, but I'm asking your theory. So if you think, like, if you're right, okay. So let's just say, forget about a whole different civilization, right? Yeah. And they build it, skip by skip, whatever. Okay. You think they did it one by one over a generation, over a generation, over a generation? The pyramids. Yeah. Uh, I think in. Well, if you if you if you study Egypt a lot, there's there's thousands of pyramids all over Egypt. Thousands. But there's only three that lasted. Though there was three big ones, but there was so there's centuries and centuries and centuries of building and tearing down and building and tearing down. I mean, just the three the three pyramids at Giza aren't the only pyramids at Giza. I mean, there's there's you know there's there's hundreds. So I mean, I think that oh, wow. yeah, there's hundreds of pyramids in Giza, and you know the the, the three main ones are the ones that the whole world knows about. You know, when you really dive into it and, you know, you study Egyptology and, you know, all that shit. When you, you know, like I did in prison, you know, reading books about Egypt. Um, yeah, so that was just the way they built out there. And they were doing it for centuries and centuries until they, so there was a lot of smaller ones, like, leading up to the big ones. And I think that those three pyramids, that was, like, the apex of their civilization. Kind of like the civ- kingdom. When, right? when their civilization came to, like, an apex, when they were doing at their best, when they, like, like our skyscrapers now, like, our 21st century now, like, Trump Tower and, and the Burj Khalifa over there and fucking uh, the UAA, the United Arab Emirates, the tallest building in the world. I don't know if it is anymore, but, it, you know, it was at one point. Um, that was, like, our skyscrapers, but that was their civilization fucking, you know, 50,000, 20,000 years ago, whatever the fuck it was. 
that was the pinnacle of their of their civilization. Because you can see the steps. If you study Egypt, you can see the steps that were leading up to that. I mean, they were been building pyramids for centuries all over Egypt. So you think those three were like the kingdoms, kind of? Yeah, those were the big dogs. This is like, look what we can do now. We've got this. We we've got this mastered. We can build anything. We can build pyramids. We can build anything. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, those were like the, they were showcasing what they could do as a civilization. I think when they built those three pyramids at Giza. I'm not saying you're wrong, but it's I, just my it's just one yeah, theory, yeah. and it, it yeah. makes sense They're, how I'm talking about it now. Yeah. And, and I'm and like, I'm not an Egyptologist, and there's probably tons of shit I don't understand. And I'm leaving out, and I, I may be fucking just talking out of the side of my face right now. But well, so here's and I'm my also thing. high as fuck. <laughs> That's good. It's a good thing. But see, in my mind, I think that they had a whole civilization that, like, is unknown to mankind. You know. And I think it got wiped out, and they stood the test of time. That's what I think. And you worked for Elon Musk at, at Tesla. I worked at Tesla, yeah. <clears throat> and if you watch him, he believes the same thing, that there was a whole civilization mm-hmm. way before us. Of course just got was. wiped out, yeah, wiped yeah. out, wiped out. And yeah. if you look in the ocean, you can't get deep enough. But if you could, if you could, mm-hmm. and they have telescopes and shit, but, you know, not good enough yet. Yet, mm-hmm. but if you go down deep enough in Alaska and the North Pole, there's like a whole fucking city there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, you're talking about like the lost city of Atlantis or something yeah. like that. Yeah, I've I've read mm-hmm. I've read the I know the story about it. You know, I but know you can see it though. You can watch it mm-hmm. like with your eyes. You know, what I mean, it's undeniable. Who, it's just what now? So if you watch National Geographic, okay. right? Right. By the North Pole, mm-hmm. like Alaska, they dive deep, but they can't get deep enough. Obviously. Under there, like way deep down, it's like a gazillion feet. A gazillion feet. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean I mean, we can't even get down that low, but you mm-hmm. can with a, because you can't breathe, you know. But with the, the right instruments, you mm-hmm. can see a whole entire civilization. Is that right? I'm surprised. I don't, you know. I don't think... No, I don't. I don't know. I've never oh. heard. I've never heard of anything like that in my life. I gotta show you. I'll show you. Yeah, please do. I will. No, no. Th- there's like cities and shit. No, but I got rocked. You know. You know. Like, the Earth used to be one way. Like Florida. We're in Florida right now, right? Sure. Florida used to be underwater. Yeah. They keep saying, "Oh, Florida's gonna go underwater." Blah blah blah. Well, it used to be underwater. You know, the continents. <clears throat> I do not have COVID. Mm-hmm. Nasal spray. Thank you, Doctor Agressi. Um, the continents were separated, and then they came together. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But prior to all this shit, they were separated, and there is proof. Like you can see cities, uh, like almost a metropolis mm-hmm. underwater, but you can't get that deep. So you can study space all you want. You can study this. You can... So you think there's cities underneath the water? Absolutely, hundred percent. That used to were they just like sunken cities? You think, or are they there are people living there? I do. I think people live there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you really believe that? Hundred percent. Wow. Yeah. I'd like to. I'd like. I would love for you to show me some stuff on that. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be yeah. interesting. Well, it's not that I think I've seen. I, I I've watched it. You know, they put shit down in the ocean and right. down there. Yeah. You, you can see like fucking I'll roads. Wanna, I want to watch what you watched. Almost like um. Like HOAs, mm-hmm. I'm sure they didn't have HOAs back then, but like you know, townhouse, like full blown fucking cities, mm-hmm. you know. And I believe that that's how it happened, you know. Mm-hmm. And I think that they had full blown cities. I think they had um, <clears throat> technology that we don't have now. Yeah, you know what I think? I think when you release this podcast, people are gonna think you're fucking insane. <laughs> I, I, well, that's what I think, dude. <laughs> Ask me if I care. You're crazy, brother. That's okay. I, that's listen. I listen. I would love for you to to show me why why you think all of this exists. Like whatever I you've seen, you. the, whatever evidence that you've seen that made you believe. I want you to show me that evidence. I will show you. Okay. If Rob was here, I'd yeah, show you. I'm right down. Now. Like I, I'm not. I'd have listen, Rob pull it up. I'll, yeah. I'm listen. I'm open. I'm open to whatever. Yeah. yeah. Always gotta have an open mind. Okay. Yeah. I'll show you. I'll show you. And then you have a different thought on all this crazy shit. So now there's a thing called what? A- Adrochrome. Who? 
Azure Chrome. What the hell is that? Adrenochrome. Yeah. I think. Yeah. What the hell is that? Uh, apparently it's something that the pituitary gland, uh, secretes, and it's like the ultimate, like, fucking aphrodisiac or something like that, I don't know. Now, why would people want that, though? I don't know, man. People are weird. People are fucked up. Well, doesn't this relate to, like, the Epstein thing? The Clintons? Oh, lead all into that? I yeah. mean, uh, apparently, uh... I don't know, we might get hit for fucking talking about this, talking about the Clintons, man. I don't know if you want to fucking talk about the Clintons, dude. I don't give a fuck. All right, man. So, if, listen, for everybody watching this, if we end up suiciding, I'm not, I, I, I will never commit suicide. So, if that happens, this is right here. It was definitely the Clintons. So, yeah, let's get into it with, with that disclaimer. Yeah, explain that to me. Um, apparently, uh, the elites... Or whoever you want to say is doing so doing the, dirty stuff behind the scenes. Right. I don't fucking know who. I don't. I don't even want to get into that. Who the elites are? Who gives a fuck? Just just be you. Fuck, just yeah. be you. It's be like, you and have fun. Yeah. Listen. It's like. And I'm gonna tell you something, John. You're gonna be huge. <laughs> Wait. You gotta keep saying that. I because he is. I mean, remember remember this. Whoever's watching this. Yeah. If he listens to me, he's gonna be a big time guy. I'm gonna put this out. We'll probably get killed for it, but I want your pin. God, no. Yeah. What what were we talking about? The ab adro clone, clone. Adrenochrome. It's gonna be a funny Adrena- one. It's gonna be a funny fucking one. <laughs> <laughs> Adrenochrome, I think. Yeah, I think that's how you put the pronunciation of it. Is. <laughs> so, whoever these people are, the elites that are doing dirty stuff behind the scenes, um. They apparently harvest this adrenochrome from the pituitary glands of children. Yeah. Okay, why would you want that, though? I don't know, man. It's like the ultimate, you know. The rush. I mean, listen, man. When you control everything and you have all the money and you've been everywhere and you own everything and you've fucking bought everything and you've been the president and what's left? You know, Human beings are, you know, disgusting, depraved animals and megalomaniacs and fucking, you know, what's the next step? Start fucking chopping up kids and, you know, try do just all kinds of weird shit. I mean, who the fuck knows? I don't I don't necessarily believe that all that stuff. I mean, listen, a lot of this shit is hard, really hard to subscribe to. You know what I mean? Like, it's really hard to subscribe to. Like, it's like if you allow yourself to believe half of this shit, dude, you're just absolutely fucking insane. Do you like Alex Jones? He's entertaining, you know, and and uh, and there's a lot of truth to a lot of things that he says. About ninety percent. Yeah, but you know he's also eccentric and you know, kind of out there with. I mean, come on. Well, I don't have to say. I don't, ever, anybody who knows Alex Jones, I don't have to say anything. But see, well, when you say he's out there, I I don't think he's out there. I think he's. I think his IQ is too high. Well, I mean, listen. He's there's he's absolutely he's intelligent. Absolutely, a lot. Of, every, there's a lot of truth to everything he says. I think just the way he goes about it, yeah, and right, his like right, personality yeah. and like his whole shtick with the angry fucking yeah, rants the and nut uh, shit. Yeah, I mean, it's him. I I get it. It's who he is. But it's just like, you know, fuck, man, that's fucking some wild shit, dude. When you when you see him riding down the street in a tank with a megaphone, fucking screaming about you know the, the new world order and fucking interdimensional child the monsters. You know what I do, John? I sit on listen to it's that wild, crazy man. shit, but it's I, I listen to what he says. The show is and about eighty percent of what he said has come true. Listen, if only two percent of what he says is fucking true, we're 80, all bro. fucked. Eighty. If, if only listen, if only two percent's true, we're but all he fucked. predicted this fucking Corona bullshit fucking twenty years ago. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I, I don't really pay attention. To yeah, because I mean, says, he he's hard to listen to, you know, because he just goes on these rants. No, it's fun. Listen, it's fun to listen to Alex Jones. And but I mean, I used to, you, to, you, you I used to, decide be... to wake up and in Saturdays when I didn't have to work, and I used to put his podcast on my fucking my cell phone. You know the the what's his uh, network? Infowars, like Infowars dot com. Well, they kicked him off uh, YouTube. They well, yeah, kicked they, him off. They banned Facebook. him off everything. But he yeah. still got Infowars. dot com, and you know people still put him on YouTube and shit. Nah, so. he he knows what he's talking. He's about. He's still doing his thing. You know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah. But I used to wake up in the morning and put fucking Infowars on and just listen to Alex Jones just fucking you know, 
talk to rant for it. fucking 10 minutes and then try and sell you fucking uh, mm-hmm. silver fucking purifiers for your water. We got the best uh, silver purifiers for your water to only buy from us. Uh, all of our products guaranteed. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, he'll sell you some shit and then he'll go back into a rant and then he'll come back and sell you some, try and sell you some more shit. So it's like, yeah, whatever, man. I get it, dude. You know, yeah, but it's he's like, trying to make. He's but trying I'm not one dollar. of those. I'm not one of those people, dude, that really buy into. You know what I mean? Like I do my own research. You dig what I'm saying? Like I listen to what you're saying, but I'm gonna, you know, try and figure it out. And on the works, he says something, and then you look it up for yourself. Yeah, and, and, you, and a you lot you of times, a lot of times, there what he was saying was fucking true. Yeah, like it was in black and white. But I think because he's so eccentric in the way he goes about things. Nobody takes them. That's why people don't take them serious. And I then the whole Sandy Hook thing, like, that was crazy. What was that one? Uh, you know the Sandy Hook shooting? He tried to say it didn't happen, and, and all the, they were all actors and fucking... But, dude, yeah, that's not that wasn't good. Right, so and even t- he and even he admits, when he went on Rogan, he, even he admits that, you know, he was wrong about that, and fucking he fucked up. And what was the Sandy Hook thing? I, I don't know You about don't remember Sandy Hook? No. Nah. So Sandy Hook, New Jersey, the kid, the mentally disabled kid, walked into like a second grade classroom with AR-15 and killed a bunch of five year olds, and then killed his mom, killed his mom first, and then or something like his mom was a teacher at the school, and then killed himself. And Alex Jones trying to say it was like all conspiracy; it never happened. It was fucking all theater. Those children, all the funerals were fake. The parents were actors, and yeah, that was all bad. And he, they got sued for it, and I don't even know if he's like still going through litigation. I don't know what's going on with it, but yeah. And even he says he fucked up. So, I mean, it's like, you know, and, and so that didn't really help his fucking cause any. Right. You know what I mean? But it doesn't it doesn't discredit everything he's, he's said before or everything he's right. saying now. So I like that you said that because, you know. I mean, that was one thing he wasn't right about. You know, he fucked but up, a man, lot but, of shit that he's right about, though. But, yeah, mean, let, yeah he, there is a lot of shit he's right about, you know, but he he did drop the ball pretty bad on that one. But it is what it is, you know. Everybody fucks up, It is right? what it is. Everybody's fucked up. Now, I, I've had a lot of people in here, a lot. You know, what do you think about Epstein? Now, I got two questions for you. Do you think he's alive or do you think it was a son? No, uh, Epstein's dead, dude. Uh, Epstein's not alive, bro. Why do you think he's dead? Well, I I think I think they killed him. I think somebody went in there and killed him. I don't think well, he killed himself. Well, we know it was a setup. Yeah. I mean, anybody who doesn't think it was a setup. It means, I don't think he killed himself, himself for sure. Um, himself, I think somebody I think they killed him, but you know, I think for sure he's dead. Yeah, I mean, listen, there's no benefit from having him out. Why would they try and work, why would anybody conspire to break him out? There's there's no benefit to that when they can just send somebody in there to whack him just like they did. Well, what if he had? He's a too day- dangerous. Out. Where, it was, where's Epstein gonna go? The what dude if, was like six foot fucking seven. Where are they gonna hide him at in the fucking Caribbean somewhere? Come on. Okay. What if he had a database that they knew he had that they didn't know where it was? I don't know. Then they would just. I mean, whack just him. think about that. They would whack him. They whack him, but you, unless he you, had some kind of dead man switch, where if, if he were to die, then they would get released. But I don't. It hasn't come out yet, has it? Mm. I don't know, dude. I think he's dead, dude. You think he's dying? I, I think I believe one thousand percent Epstein is fucking dead, bro. I seen the autopsy pictures, man. I mean, all that shit can be faked, but I mean, yeah, with the Photoshop and the ear, and everything the, yeah. can be faked. Yeah, I, I looked at that a hundred times, and yeah. I, I mean, it it doesn't match. But like you said, I mean, Photoshop can make anything look. Oh yeah, there's some wizards now, man. You and yeah. I can, I can look like you in two seconds with the right guy. You yeah, know well, I mean? you know they got you know uh, f- deep fake videos where you can I can take your I can take my face and put it on your body and it'll, it'll look real. So how do you think they whacked them? Huh? I think uh, well, I mean, listen. First of all, the cameras that were supposed to be watching they were down. Uh, they were. They did. They did. They, the data was corrupted, or either they weren't working. The two guards that were supposed to be watching his uh, were, his thing were supposedly sleeping. That's it. Somebody just presses a button and a door pops, and somebody walks in there. There's no camera. There's nobody watching it. He's in a secluded wing, uh, a part of the thing. They walk in. They wrap a sheet around his neck. They fucking break his neck and hang him up, like he's fucking, like he killed himself. And then they fucking. And then you know. And then they said that. The cop that went in there said he cut him down, but the rope wasn't cut. You know what I mean? So it was like there's a bunch of there's a bunch of inconsistencies in the story, and you know a bunch of just too fucking coincidental of fucking co- you know what I mean? Like, yeah, he didn't walk out of there. Somebody no. he, they they he, listen. Them cops fucking went to sleep or walked off the unit. They pressed the button, the door popped, and somebody walked in, and and his door popped, and that was it. It was a wrap. Now, do you think, was he in uh, solitary confinement or PC? Yeah, no, he was in solitary confinement. 
Well, then, if you're in solitary confinement, you don't have two people in your cell. No, he was by himself. No, he wasn't. He was with. No, well, they in, in, even in Coleman in the shoe, they you got a roommate. I've never seen anybody in solitary confinement with a roommate. And yeah, in, in Coleman, you got a roommate in the shoe. There, hell yeah, oh. you sure the okay. fuck do. It's yeah. news to me. Yeah. So and even yeah, when I was even when I was in the shoe in Atlanta, there was fucking two people in every room. Yep. So. But in the shoe, shoe or like no, and the, and the shoe is like basically solitary confinement. Well, yeah, because you were waiting to be transferred. Yeah, but right? that is the shoe. No, it's a shoe. But I mean, there's like two types of shoe. It's like the shoe that you're waiting to be moved, and then there's the shoe that you're in there. Well, it was the same thing. So like dudes that were in there from that were in Atlanta prison were in the shoe while we were getting transferred. You know what I'm saying? See, what fucks me up about Epstein was, why would they put him in MCC, which is downtown New York? You, that, you that, don't, you, they were you trying don't, him. But it's weird because well, all of his cases, him why there. were they trying him in New York, though? That's the weird shit. That's the whole thing. You know what that, I mean? That, like, that's what I'm trying to get to is because... They put, like I'm telling you, they put him there because they had to get, they, they knew they could control the situation over there. Yeah. Like when they got control of that prison. Like obviously, look, obviously the cameras were fucking off and the guards were gone. Come on, bro. That's that's fucking right there. That tells you that there's some fucking shenanigans going on. What? So Epstein just knew from in his lock cell that the guards were going to be asleep and that the cameras were going to be off. So that's when he decided to hang himself because he had that information. That's craziness. No possible. There, there's no possible way that the, the, all those coincidences could have happened all at the same time. Yeah. Woo. You know.